Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be raving about a perfume that is new to me. You, I'm sure, have already smelled it and are familiar with it. It's very popular, but I had never tried it out before. Uh, and it was kind of like an accident. I almost skipped over it uh, when I was at the store, but uh, I'll tell you the story. So I was in Sephora smelling all the perfumes and I got to this part of the store where there were some used blotters that people had uh, sprayed perfume on um, before I even got there because I, I didn't see them doing it, but there were these blotters lying on the counter and out of curiosity, I decided to take a whiff of them and one of them had this intoxicating muskiness. It was this very pleasant, fresh, yet uh, kind of uh, sensual muskiness, a little bit floral, a little bit lotiony, clean, um, without being sterile, uh, sensual musk. So after smelling this, I became hooked and I had to figure out which perfume it was. So I tried all the perfumes that were around that area and I was able to narrow it down to this one right here, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I was so shocked because I'm sure I've tried this before, but uh, and in this visit to Sephora, sometimes that happens with perfumes. You try it sometime down the road from the first time and it really like sinks into you. And uh, it was the dry down though that I found to be the most uh, pleasing part of this perfume. The opening is great. It's a fresh floral type of scent uh, centered around peony, I would say. There's also orange. Uh, what else? I think there's rose in here too. I don't get a strong rose. It's more so just like a fresh abstract kind of floral. Um, there's also, and this might be why I really like it. There's something that's kind of like a little bit grapey about it. Like a sweet grapey kind of smell. I love, um, like Japanese candy uh, that has a grape flavor to it. So I'm always drawn to that sort of aroma. And this has a little bit of that. It's not too surprising though, because a uh, aroma chemical that's used to make orange blossom accords is methyl anthrolate. And that is like a um, grape slash floral type of smelling aroma chemical. So I feel like that might be in this perfume. But it really does dry down into this very sensual, warm, yet fresh uh, kind of floral smell. It is like almost like a second skin kind of smell in that way. I think it's such a good signature scent. And um, yeah, it is not like reinventing the wheel at all. It's pretty basic but it's basic done well. There is something to it that makes it stand out. And I think it has a quality to it that is uh, kind of like elevated and it gives this more mature adult feeling without going full on mature. It still is very youthful, but there's like a uh, womanliness to it. A sensual womanliness this perfume has having said that I think that a man I think a man can wear this but I think it's very flattering on a woman the musky dry down though I think it's, it could be pleasing on everybody this is a head turner I definitely feel like it's a head turner I feel like this is a kind of perfume that you get in an uber and then the Uber driver is wearing something. And if they were wearing something like this, I would ask them what they were wearing. 
So I am a huge fan of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It is different from the other ones. I didn't latch onto them the same way I latched onto this one, not at all. So the downside of this perfume, as is the case with almost all the perfumes that I am so crazy for, because I am a freshy type of person, so I often run into this problem. The performance on this perfume is pretty bad. I get like a couple of hours. It kills me. But I was doing research and on Fragrantica, they kept recommending this other perfume called Nude Bouquet from Zara. I definitely agree with the people who say that this smells like Miss Dior, and I'm pretty sure that Zara intended this to be a dupe for Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I'm smelling them both now. The uh, Blooming Bouquet, I feel like it's a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more refined, a little bit warmer and more musky. I feel like Nude Bouquet is louder for sure. And that's the part that's very important. Nude Bouquet, I wore it yesterday. It was my first wearing and I could smell it for hours and hours. I think at least seven hours I could smell it on myself. Uh, so that is a huge improvement from Miss Dior, Blooming Bouquet. Uh, so it's louder. It's a bit uh, fruitier. There's some sort of fruity tartness that's a little bit stronger in Nude Bouquet. And it's fresher. I think there is like a water lotus or water lily note in Nude Bouquet. Maybe it's freesia. But I can sense that. There's some sort of fresh, a fresher floral note in here, but they smell so similar. I think that amazing uh, dry down is more prominent though in Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet than it is in Nude Bouquet, but they are so similar. So if you do like this perfume, highly recommend trying out Nude Bouquet. It's an excellent dupe it's i got this bottle for like 10 to 15 dollars so it's an amazing price and it seems to last pretty well i also got the oil perfumery uh roll-on dupe of the blooming bouquet so i will try to report back on how that smells and uh, the reviews for it were really good so i'm i have high hopes but I love Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I think it's a well done perfume. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, I do love Peony. I don't know if it's 100% the Peony perfume that I'm after. There's something that's just not quite exactly the way I want it, but it's close to like my ideal fresh, think like a light blue color, light pink color type of Peony. Um, it's very close to that. Uh, what else? There was like one other thing I was trying to remember to say in this review. Uh, oh yeah, I kind of find it to be like distantly related to Chance Otandra. That one I feel is more juicy and tangy and I think the rose in that one is more prominent. Whereas in here, I'm finding it to be more of a sensual kind of experience. Um, I don't know what is to uh, attribute that. Maybe there's, it has apricot and peach. So maybe it's the apricot because apricot can be a little bit like of a skin type of, um, it can lend a skin quality to a perfume. Uh, so maybe it's the apricot, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're both kind of like shower fresh but Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, I feel like, turns more sensual and sexy. And Chanso Tendre is more just sprightly and bright. Um, but it's still sexy in a clean way. 
but this one is just more innately uh, sexy to me. So you probably already have your opinion on this perfume, but I think it's really nice. If you have it, I'd try whipping it out and re-sniffing it because uh, you might be also surprised, as I was, about how good it is. Um, if you hate it, uh, let me know why. I'm curious. But yeah, that is my thought on Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Thank you for watching. Bye.